We bring war, as Aslar the awesome Olog declares. So I, in talking about Shadow of War, that is coming out, this is a game, Middle of Earth, Shadow of War, coming out in 48 days. We've been having a daily countdown, and each day we're giving some more information about the upcoming game and features we can expect. And as promised, I'm going to talk about the specific six different customization slots that will be available in the arsenal, armor, weaponry, whatever you want to call it, for Shadow of War. As in Shadow of Mordor, there are three weapons. There is the sword, the dagger, and the bow. But added upon such is also going to be the ability to customize and get loot for armor, cape, and runes for the newly forged Ring of Power. As you know, that's kind of a staple or a, a very uh, key point of the Shadow of War is this new Ring of Power. And so runes are going to be what will be discovered to make that Ring of Power even more powerful. So as mentioned in the previous episode, we're going to talk about that and talk about how Talion's gear is actually fully customizable and actually fully upgradable. And each weapon you get or each item you get can be upgraded even more and we're going to talk about that. So, as I mentioned, there are six slots. The sword, the dagger, the bow, armor, cape, and ring of power. The variances we can ex that, that are between these and expect are awesome. And they are bringing some new customization features which are visually aesthetically affected, as I mentioned in the previous episode, on Talion's actual model, the body of Talion. So, first off, there are statistics and aesthetic differences with every weapon. Weapons can... Uh, change the damage count. A different sword may have more damage than the other. We could expect that. It may be similar perhaps in the actual damage count, but the appearance will actually be very unique. Say you have a dagger. Well, that dagger will be noticeably unique from the other dagger you had before, and that's what makes it so awesome. Furthermore, some of the equipment will also increase Talion's base attributes, such as his health or stealth points. So, daggers specifically increase in points that have to do with stealth, and we can imagine that armor and maybe the cape would increase um, attributes that have to do with health. And there are varying complexities, rarities, and advantages, and even disadvantages to every piece of gear you will find. So that just makes for an amazing variety of gear that you can find, making each battle worth it to do because there's always this excitement that you will find that awesome new loot. And as mentioned in the previous episode, there are legendary runes, legendary gear, legendary sword, legendary dagger, legendary bows that are to be discovered, and that is awesome. And one final little gold nugget to share with you along these customization features. So the Celebrimbor feature, the wraith side of Talion, was not very much explored in Mordor, very much, at least from the weapon aspect. We did see him take out his hammer whenever he was to um, discover a new tower location. Remember that? He'd bring out his hammer, slam it on the anvil. Yeah, and he'd bring out a hammer, and then at other times he would, you know, have the bow. Obviously, that was, those stay. Now, this time, however, the hammer will be actually used as a weapon. We do see it in the gameplay trailer where he uses the weapon to execute the dude that was on the wall all mocking him and stuff with his curse abilities. Well, in the end, he ends up getting um, the sharp end of that hammer in his eye socket. And we're going to see that same thing, I believe, as well in Shadow of War. But in addition to that will be the... Um, it basically is a huge spear that he can use. It's a wraith spear on the back of a Karagor. And so that can also be in the battles we find um, on the ground. And I'll say more about that in a future episode, but I just want to make mention of those as other items that are, I'm not sure, custom maybe customizable, but they are also new weapons to be used in Shadow of War. Well, I hope you enjoyed that information. And now, without further ado, let's jump into some Shadow of Mordor gameplay. I hope you enjoy it. Towers. Hey, guys, as promised, we're going to go to... Uga Kuga Blood Lickers Trial by Ordeal. We're going to see who's going to come out on top. He's going against the War Chief, and we're going to try to help him. And it's going to be great. So, let's just see what happens, huh? He'll prove himself, and I just got this Forge Tower. Pretty excited. Got that. And here we go. If you recall in the previous episode, we were sending all of the previous A game guys after this. And hopefully, we're going to see. Um. Uga Kuga, prove himself. Become the war chief that he rightfully should have become. So we're going to try to red rectify that because the fat lard became one instead. Now Uga Kuga is going to have his chance, and I'm really excited what kind of war chief gear he's going to have. I 
it's a shame to kill such a beautiful creature, but I will if I must. Oh, will if I must. You know, he just like, I, I, I don't know, his voice is growing on me, guys. I must say. Well, he's just going after that Karagor. I thought he was supposed to go after the war chief. This shows my ignorance. Oh, he's getting ripped to shreds. Ooga Kuga, you can't let that guy just rip you to pieces now. Oh my goodness, Ooga Kuga. What a disappointment. But now you're, at least you're an elite captain. Look at those weird bumps in his head. Makes him cooler. Alright, he, he did the trial. Alright. You know, Ooga Kuga, I really thought we had a conversation. You're supposed to take on the war chief. Isn't that right? Guys, please take care of them. Thank you. No! Will you? I'm surrounded by reinforcements and you can't. What a bunch of retards. Okay, let's try that again. Interrogate, try to send you on another mission once again. Okay, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go and betray him. Can you do this? Against the legendary war chief. Can you do it? I hope you can. You're gonna prove yourself? It's gonna be good. He's gonna betray him. Fan diddly tastic. It's fast travel, and let's go see this stuff happen in action. Because apparently, it didn't go as I planned initially. I don't know what happened. See Sauron's army? Alright, who's he got? He's got one of our guys. No, 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 no. No, he's got two. Ooh. This could be a challenge. But we're going to take it. We're going to see it. I think this could be the last of um, Uga Kuga. I don't know if we set it up for success, but if he does this... He proves himself as a true warrior. But he needs his friend. I'm going to give him the benefit of having his um, his buddy who enrages the junk out of him. Okay, good. It looks like... What's going on here? You going to try to strengthen him or is he coming after him? It looks like he's going to be there. Because the red arrow, does that mean he's going to be there? Okay, I'm going to say that he's going to be there. And let's just make it happen, huh? Let's make it happen. How far into this? Ooh, it's pretty deep. Can I get around to it an easier way? Yeah, it looks like kind of on the right side. Oh, it's one of my buds. Sorry, dude. Do a little slide action. Do a little roll action. Do a little jump. Climb a wall. Amazing jump action. And then we'll do some more sword sliding. Fun. Oh, you are so awesome. Look at you. Chopping that thing. Oh, hello. <laughs> you, you keep at it. Your master commands you, so. I don't think anything was ever there. So I have to get on the ledge? Are you serious? Okay. Yo, what's up, bro? He's in place. That's, um, that's our boy. Dooza. Is it? Did he change his names? Okay, never mind. I don't remember him after all. Somebody else I'm thinking of, okay? Whoops. I thought that was the other blood. The blood dude. Okay, here we go. Let's make it happen. Legendary War Chief versus Uga Kuga. If Uga Kuga does this, he is worthy of legendary status. This is a moment of history. Your He's got a poison weapon though, and we're gonna see how this unfolds. The problem is, he does have. Mm, 
some other war chiefs in the midst. They're both invulnerable to range, which leaves things a challenge. But I think one's invulnerable to stealth that we could take out. And I think we could even some odds up here. So let's see here. He's got on his team, yeah, this assassin guy. Wouldn't it be funny if he's a, yeah, what'd you know? Assassin is vulnerable to, uh, to, uh, <laughs> stealth. Okay. Let's see if we can't, um. Hey, look! He killed him! Legendary Chief dead! Look at Uga Kuga going for it. I didn't even help him. My, my arrows didn't work? Uga Kuga did it all by himself, ladies and gentlemen. And now he's become a legendary war chief. How about that? Let's see. He's coming. I will try to lead these all night. Let's see if I can't. Oh, there we go. Stealth kill. Nailed it. Nailed it. Ace to Kimmy. Maybe I should have stealth branded him. Oh, well. Oh, buddy. Ooga Kuga. Let me look at you, dude. You're looking all right there, man. You're looking all right there. Did you get any new abilities, though? Let's take a look. Ooga Kuga. He's got poison weapons, so that's new. But he he doesn't have body slam anymore, it looks like. Oh, that's unfortunate. What a face. What a face. Uga Kuga, good for you. He's a gang leader still. I don't know. He might have lost some of his awesomeness when he upgraded. Either way, he did prove himself. I didn't even help him, so I have to say, good job, Uga Kuga. I think it helps he's all of these followers with him. That is pretty remarkable. Look, he's just taunting him. Or maybe he's hacking. I really don't know what he's doing. But what do we have next on the agenda? Well, we got all the war jeeves. So, I think it's time to uh, fast travel. Move on in the world. Go liberate some people and stuff and things. Okay, so what do we got? We got um, some intel. We got the rescue. So let's do that. Let's go get some intel. Yeah, branded them all, bros. Moving up in the world. And we now have five branded war chiefs. Even though one of them is kind of an idiot. Alright, we'll take them. We love them. Where are they going? Someone's running off. I'll smell something. Fantastic. We we'll forget the intel. We didn't really need it, I suppose. Now let's move on to liberate some peeps up in here. Wait, look, there's some Mithriel stuff. Could I? Would I? Should I get it? The answer is yes. More as well, right? Somebody's cooking human flesh for dinner. That's absolutely delicious. No, I'm kidding. I actually wouldn't know. I, I really just, I really wouldn't. I just, I really wouldn't know. Come on down, give me a face. There you go. Some blue gummies. You all have the gummies? No gummies are good? You know, you'll like it. Okay, guys. Moving on in the story. We had some fun, a little distraction. Uka Kuga made himself elite. War Chief, not bad. But now let's take a look here back to the story mode. Such a shame. If you truly know nothing, then you're of no use to me. <laughs> When you're done with her, hang her high. Make sure the Grave Walker can find her. <laughs> you 
aren't going anywhere, Slack. Tell us where he's hiding and we'll kill you quick. Now we kill you slowly. Just how I like it. That scream was Lotharius. We must find her quickly. Stay quiet. Emotion will add weight to your step. Here's a couple of guys. It would appear all of her men have fallen. That is why we must help her. She has no one left by her side. Stealth brand. A few dudes. That should be easy peasy punk and plazy. Hey, you checking the inventory? Here, let me help you out on that, huh? Alright, now that you're my soldiers, you go ahead and make yourselves uh, useful by not raising the alarm. Uh-oh! Uh-oh, dodge him! Come on over. I've got a surprise for you. It's called a stealth brand! Even though that wasn't so stealthy. New objective, find Letheria. Oh look, there's a bow that I didn't pick up last time. Excuse me, but um, once I brand you, you'll let me pick up this bow. I'm sure you wouldn't mind. It's, uh, you know, some free Letheriel or whatever it's called. No, that's the girl's name. Oh, there's somebody just chilling right there. Hey, dude. What's up? Just turning you to my uh, my team here. Excuse me. Got to vault over you to make it to Lothario, which I am Lothario. This is weird. Okay, it's over there in the cage. You got it. So we're right right here. Okay, good. Yeah, we made it. Maybe if we make her bleed a little, she'll start talking. Oh, down on her knees. Okay, so kill our brand. Here we go. Hey, the Grave Walker. You want the Grave Walker? Here I am. It's like. Wait, there's two of Lotharials. How did that happen? There's two Lotharials. Hey, look, it's two of you. <laughs> That's so funny. One after another. I know what you feel. We must hurry. Whoa! Their brethren fall. So will my tribe. Plan your vengeance once we have escaped. I don't seek vengeance. I fight because it would be wrong not to. I do right now. <laughs> well, this is interesting. There's two Lotharials. It's a picture perfect moment of two Lotharials. <laughs> it's great. I mean, isn't it? Whoa. Picture perfect moment. Oh no, don't don't leave her on the ground. We gotta take her to safety. We've got our minions fighting for us. Sort of. Italian. I can no longer draw my sword. Oh. Hey, let me just sell the brand a couple of you you just you just lie there. Whoa! Drained. Oh, he's gone. Okay, that's fine. Where'd she go? Here she is. You were hurt because of me. I am the handicap to you. Oh, how romantic! It's just so funny. I've never met a fighter with such vigor for battle. I have no choice. In the face of darkness, it is our duty to bring light. 
pop goes the head of the orc and Eric Okay, there we go. Back to back to work. Oh, you're kidding me. I missed one apparently. But now let's make haste. Hey! Quick! Punch in the girlfriend! But okay, I'll join you the army. I'll forgive you. Redeem yourself by going and killing your minion friends. Excuse me, um, but you're kind of in the way. <laughs> Two Lotharials. We're moving so, so slow. All right, ladies. My soul can only take so many. That's not quite true, there, Talion, my friend. Your sword can take more than a many. And let me just say that of the many, that was quite a few. Oh, here's one. Oh, sorry, that's not... Okay, you're one. Oh! Lothariel's taking damage! Seriously. Guys, there's all of you and you can't even... You are retarded. Your head's gonna blow off because you've been hurting his new GF. You like that, guys? That was great, wasn't it? That was fantastic. All right, back to the, the two ladies making their way. Look at those flies. Those look dangerous. That is so strange. It's like twin sisters. I will leave you, sister. I will carry you. Okay. We're almost there. 23 feet. That is not 23 feet. Here, rest here. Doing this. To stop the bleeding. No. Why did you come back to save me? I had a family once. A wife. And a son. And I buried them along with everyone I even knew. Stay with us. My mother can help you. I can't. I don't belong here. Be a champion to my people. Over there. And you walk on your own. Is that your answer? Milady! Help her. Let me help. You need to leave this place immediately. It's not safe. Thank you, Ranger. So in some way, Lothariel helped Lothariel, and Talion was somewhat felt human again, helping a fellow human. Tensions rise, conflicts become, and so on and so forth in this great story. I hope you enjoyed it so far, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the playlist below, bringing you everyday content. For Shadow of Mordor and talk of Shadow of War. And hit a like. It really helps. Okay, so Thanks so much for watching. Hero 87. Out. We must leave or perish. The black.